What's up YouTube? This is Omega 5 Fisher coming at you with a video, a new video. This is unboxing a new Cast King reel. So the reason why I bought this reel is one, because of the quarantine, we can't go fishing. So I started looking at a lot of uh, my fishing gear and uh, I basically told myself I probably need a new bait casting reel. I have a whole lot of spinning reels, but bait casting reels are something that I don't usually buy. I probably have two or three of them um, that work for smaller fish, but I needed something a little bit more hefty and a little bit more girth to it, something with a lot more strength. Uh, I saw this on Amazon um, and across YouTube. Uh, I see a lot of people praising this new casking. Uh, bait casting reel that's good for your saltwater um, applications and it has 35 pounds of drag so here it is guys uh, it just came in the mail so here it is this is the cast king capstan 300 elite so again I plan to use this reel for uh, bigger fish, uh, striped bass, halibut. Um, hopefully, you know, uh, it will do the job. 35 pounds of uh, drag is uh, nothing to take lightly. I know most uh, bait casting reels have uh, average about 20 pounds of uh, drag. As you can see, uh, this is a brand new reel. It's uh, eight plus one ball bearings, again from Cast King. It's a Cast King Capstan 300 Elite. Uh, it's a 300 size. It has a gear ratio of 541. It holds 14 pounds, up to 230 yards of line. So, we got a clicker here. Uh, we got a EVA foam, double handle, bait casting reel. Has a clicker here on the side. Nice and loud. So when you set up your uh, live bait rig for halibut, um, you could let it uh, run off the clicker. So you can pretty much walk away and just listen out for the clicks. So that's a good feature. This right here, from what I heard, is pretty unnecessary. This just lets you know what pound of, uh, what size line you have on your reel, which is kind of a waste, but I'm guessing if you have multiple reels that are similar, all you have to do is look on the side and you know how many pound test um, line you have on this reel. So that's what this is for. It's not an adjustment. It's just for indicating what kind of test pound line you have for your reel. So uh, a little unnecessary in my opinion, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and open the side. Okay. That's your braking system by centrifugal force, open and close. So this itself is a pretty big reel for a bait caster. They say it's a 300 size. Uh, I guess it looks comparison to a Shimano Tranks 300 as far as size, you know, it's, it's pretty large is what I'm looking for. So you have that maximum power for dragging in big fish. So um, one of the videos I put out on my channel was uh, my personal best halibut. And if you noticed on that video, when I was reeling in my halibut, I was using a spinning reel.
but I was having a hard time pulling in that fish. Um, that's a actually a cheapy uh, reel that I bought off uh, Wish. It did the job, it you know, but I wanted something with a little more power. I didn't want to break the bank by buying a Tranks, uh, although I do like the Tranks. Someone introduced me to a Shimano Tranks 400. It was pretty huge. And I went ahead and decided to get this Capstan Cast King 300. Uh, I do have a power reel that's uh, on the way. So uh, next video after that, after this one, I am going to show you how to change out this double handle reel and put on a power knob by Gomexis. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna put some line on this, uh, give it a few test runs, make some adjustments to the line so I can uh, practice casting it and uh, hopefully bring it out in the water soon. Let this uh, shelter in place be lifted so we can go fishing. All right, so again, Cast King, Capstan 300, Bait casting reel, left hand turn with a clicker. All right, we'll see how this goes. Uh, look out for the next video where I put a power uh, power knob for the Gomexis from Gomexis on this casking. All right, thanks for watching.